M. Doherty is a scent artist and researcher, and people ask a lot of questions about that. I keep getting asked if I've seen the movie Perfume, which is about a serial killer who's capturing body odor smells. So that's one that comes up a lot, which is good fun. I don't know what a formula is, but I can make a more in psyche for you now. Huh. And you think I just let you slop around in my laboratory with essential oils that are worth a fortune? But Doherty's intentions are good. They want to help people improve their olfactory literacy, our ability to read smells. There's so much information being communicated in smell from like health to mood to history, cultures, all sorts of things like that. And I think we're just not socialized to tune into it. Doherty's interest in smell really kicked off during a class at the Institute for Art and Olfaction in Los Angeles, where they looked at recreating the smell of Cleopatra's perfume. And while I was there, I was smelling a whole wall of material, smelling things I hadn't really paid attention to before. And there was someone else that was recreating the smell of hot Cheetos. Blame it, hot Cheetos, anyone? Doherty was hooked. They created an odor organ. Instead of playing a sound, it plays a smell. You can really just play around with playing different keys, releasing different smells, combining them together. You can mix something like lemon, and then if you add a sweet note to it, it'll smell more like candy than citrus. During the thick of the COVID pandemic, Dr. T showed their work at a gallery called Old Factory Art Keller in New York. Because of COVID, loss of smell was fresh in everyone's mind. They wanted to offer something good through smell, so they pumped the scent of the forest out to the sidewalk and scattered scented objects throughout the gallery. There's like the fresh air, right? Where it's like air that's so fresh, you can almost feel the cool when you're inhaling it. A little bit of decay, a little bit of funk. Trees, animals. The Organo Factory Art Keller can be political too. Gail Knowles is an internationally known pioneer of olfactory art and science. She's also disturbed by how synthetic fragrances are hurting the environment. Neurotoxins now are in every part of our environment. You know, they're in the top of the Alps, they're in the sludge where all young aquatic life that's born. Knowles' exhibit at the gallery is a photographic series titled Politics of Perfume Objects, the Avon Suite. She arranged and reconfigured Avon decanters to give them a new narrative. Avon is a huge cosmetic company, and a decanter is a small plastic or glass vial that contains a fragrance. I began to explore how these chemicals ended up being so massively deployed into the, the United States in a short period of time. And I landed upon Avon and began to collect their older bottles and explore the iconography. In one piece, a bullet sits atop the Liberty Bell. In another, Thomas Jefferson is dwarfed by his handgun. It's just a bit crazy how this iconography was used to sell these untested chemicals and deploy them in mass tonnage throughout the country in no time. The exhibit also features a new scent, the smell of George Washington's false teeth. It was kind of about his favorite meal, really. The griddle cakes and honey and um, some other nice things that were soft because he had, he had a lot of teeth problems. This all might sound bizarre, but it shouldn't. We're talking about the facts of life. George Washington had false teeth. Smell is all around us. Olfactory Art Keller aims to make the world of smell-based art more accessible. Andreas Keller is its owner and operator. There's a big need. There's like a large group of, of creative interested in working with smell, but they have no infrastructure, they have no outlets, there's not enough knowledge to do that. And so I kind of felt that there's a need for doing that. As one of his visions. I would hope in the future to also have short movies that are scented. That way people can see, feel, and be in smell. Oh my god, that smells so good. For Philosophy Talk, I'm Holly Jimmy Deed.